All right, guys, today, well, first of all, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. Um, I am working on my door bus lock. I want to be able to lock the bus, um, but I can't, I couldn't get the key part to turn. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so what I ended up doing was taking this off to make sure this is working properly. And you can see this is not frozen. This, this goes perfectly fine. I'll show you how it all works once we put it together. Uh, once I found out this was fine, I ended up taking off the lock mechanism on the other side and I'll, and I'll show you that. All right, so what, what I did is I, I, I didn't have a key. I got the number off it. I went down to the bus place and I got the matching key for it. And I got home and no matter what I did, I could not get this to turn. Do you want and, your face in this? No, it doesn't matter. Um, so I couldn't get it to turn. I confirmed that the key was correct. The number with the bus lock, and it is. So I decided I was just gonna remove these screws real quick and take this out and see what I could see. What I found was, it's a very simple setup. If you turn the key, it's supposed to turn this tumbler here, which then pulls this away from this and allows you to then turn this knob and cranks that bar forward and backward to lock the bus. But, it was not turning, like I showed you before. I couldn't get this to turn. And, and so I held this out of the way to make sure that there wasn't too much pressure on that and that wasn't causing the problem, and it was not. So anyways, the bottom line is I decided to just take this whole mechanism down to the bus place. I went down the Cressy bus, they're right here local in Kenny Bunk, and I encourage you, if you have a schoolie and you're in the area and you need parts, service, or anything like that, they have been fantastic. Every time I go down there, they're super helpful, super friendly. Uh, so anyways, I brought this down to them, I showed them my problem, and uh, they messed around with it and determined that the tumbler was bad. So I had to get a whole uh, new tumbler. And so there it is here. What we're going to do is change this out, put this back together, and show you how it works. And I'll show you how to change it. I'm going to probably turn the video off, but you just got to take this nut off here. It's going to allow this drum to drop out, and then we're going to replace it with this one. And this, uh, this nut just screws, screws off right here. We'll put this one in place and then we'll show you what all together and how it's going to work. Thanks. And we're running. All right, I didn't go and grab the right wrench for this. I'm just going to, it's real easy to break that nut loose. Just hold your tumbler with the key and you can go ahead and just unscrew this. Very easy repair. Then we can pull the tumbler right out and there's that. We'll just Put that back together here for a minute. Get it out of the way. Then we're going to take our new one and put it back in. Let's get the nut off. That'll help. The only thing you want to make sure is if the lock thing, the tab, is going the right direction. You want it to end up just inside uh, that mechanism right there. So when you turn this, it's pulling it out away from the shaft so you can turn the whole thing. So what I gotta do now is just drop this back a little bit so I can get the nut in there. Get that nut started. Hopefully you can see this all right. It can only go two ways, this way or 180 the other way and that way won't work of course. I'm just gonna use these. You don't have to go super tight with it. Now let's just test it, see if it'll work and then we'll put it together. Look at that, it works. Turns the tumbler, pulls that pin away. With that pulled away, it allows us to turn this as much as we want. And that, in turn, is in the back side of this. And then it drives this steel bar in or out to lock into the other side of the door. And uh, why don't we just take a minute, puts this together, and we'll show you how it all works. All right, I'm just gonna grab all my screws here. And this is a very easy repair. Get these started. I could use the uh, screw gun for it, but they're not very long. It'll only take a minute to get them in there. And then I'll be able to actually lock my bus. And I'm probably going to be putting in an additional locking mechanism Well, this as well. This is just the original, um, but I wanted it working. You can see this don't turn right now, but if I turn the key, we can turn this. I turn that back, she's locked in. All right, we're gonna go put the other side back together now. There is something you need to note uh, on your particular bus. It might be a little bit different, uh, but on this one, there is a shim plate 
uh, that was in behind this one. So keep that in mind. If yours has a shim, pay attention to where it was so you can put it back. So the backside really did not have to come off for the changing out the tumbler. I did it only because I, I didn't know how it all worked behind there, so I just wanted to get it all off and see what I was working with and make sure that this shaft was not frozen. Uh, and and um, it's not, so if you have just a tumbler problem, you do not have to take this back plate off at all. We're gonna try locking it. I think I can do it, ready? So now you can see, we can lock the bus up. So that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for swinging by Life the Wild Ride. Please come back often uh, and check out more videos. Also, check out my brother's channel, Mark Finding Mark in Maine. He's also on YouTube as well. And um, I'll put a link in the description for anything I might have used, screwdriver, whatever, if you find it useful. Uh, also, don't forget to check, check out Krusty Bus if you're in the area. I think they have locations in three, three of the New England states. So if you need service work or anything like that, I highly recommend them. Very nice family, very friendly employees, and very helpful. Anyway, thanks for swinging by. Have a great day, and happy bus building. Shut it off.